you once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Why, well, thank you, game. And welcome back, everybody, to Resident Evil 2 on our Claire A run. Let's continue. Now, we didn't leave off in a great spot, actually. Our health is pretty shitty. Uh, but that's okay if I can actually go back into the item box and, you know, drop that down. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the Colt SAA is actually more powerful than the, the handgun. Um, or the standard handgun. Now, Claire's standard handgun <clears throat> is actually already slightly more powerful than Leon's. But Leon's does hold more ammo. Now, obviously, Leon can also upgrade his to the Matilda, the, uh, uh, as it has been called in the later Resident Evil releases, um, which fires three-round bursts. But the only caveat with this handgun is it doesn't have the um, uh, a critical hit chance, or apparently the critical hit chance is much, much lower. Now, uh, as I was rendering the last video... I was going through my old stuff, and ha ha, look what I found. Yes, the original Resident Evil uh, primer guide. Um, as some of you guys do maybe know, I actually collect guides. Uh, I love them, and uh, it's very sad news recently to hear that Primer has printed their last guide. Um, it's a shame. Anyway, <clears throat> something is written on the mountain. The god of the sun and the god of the moon, their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Well, we need the red soul, so come then, Mr. God of the Sun. Let's get your ass where you need to be. And actually, before I forget, there's some hidden ammo here somewhere. Is that on a different difficulty, maybe? I could have sworn there's some ammo here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, secret ammo. We're going to need a lot of ammo for this cult. Because this cult is going to be fun to play around with. Right, let's shift this back over to where it needs to be. Also, like, Claire's outfits are so cool. They are so cool. Um, I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing with the new, the new remake. Ah, oh, God. It feels so good to be playing this again, guys. It's so weird as well. Like... Because I have run through this game over the years quite a few times, but usually on an emulator, and you always have save states and all that good stuff. But uh, uh, obviously here, we don't have that. We are old school. I did want to do my Dreamcast version, but unfortunately, my Dreamcast, uh, I think, has finally properly died. And the more I think about it, I know it's died. I should have known it's died. Because uh, that's why we stopped doing the Shemu 2 LP. A long, long time ago. But I'd forgot. I need to buy a new one. I might get one of the modded ones. <coughs> we shall cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, right. That's one of the jewels we need. Let's keep going. Let's go check out the star's office. It's been a little while since I've had a poke around in there. Zombies? No zombies? Oh my, I thought there were zombies in this room. I'm sure there's something up here. No, uh, maybe not. Oh well. All right, let's get out of here. I like that handcuff that's just dangling there as well. Hmm, looks like uh, somebody was chained up when shit was going down, and I guess he escaped. One of Billy's, maybe. <clears throat> anyway, let's go inside. Now, we can't get into that door ahead of us, I don't think. Because we need a key to get through it. There's also a secret file to find here if we search this about 750,000 times. Uh, approximately 750,000 times, anyway. It's trash. Somebody must have searched the desk. Hint, hint, motherfucker. Now, I believe this is supposed to be Wesker's desk. At least I'm pretty sure this is Wesker's desk. But we're going to keep searching it to get our precious... Um, can't remember what we get from this. Ah, roll of film. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. Nothing gets past me. We'll have a little look around this room as well. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying it. This isn't a speed run. We're not going to be tearing through the game. 
think the quickest I've done it is about hour and 40 minutes, maybe. Something, maybe quicker than that, I can't remember. But yeah, this was quite a well-hidden secret. I got a horrible feeling that maybe just... Oh no, there we go. I was going to say, maybe it was in uh, Leon's scenario only. And we have some bullets back here. Ah, uh, thank you. Not bad, not bad. A picture of the stars, members. There's our boys. Got Chris and Jill at the front there. Barry, big man on the second from the right. And then that's Chicken Heart, the guy that we just put down. Furthest over on the right. You got Forrest kneeling next to Jill, I believe. Hmm. Rest of the team. Very cool stuff. Okay, so that's these guys. Anyway, ooh, we've got loads of like mm, things here. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest winner, Chris Redfield. Our brother. <clears throat> He's a pretty dapper hand. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. Yeah, I think this is Barry's desk. I might be wrong. Pretty sure that's Barry's desk, though. There isn't anything useful on the shelf. Well, that's good to know, Claire. I'm glad we have your expert opinion on the situation. So what have we got here? Nah, this is Chris's desk. Chris's diary. August 8th. <clears throat> I talked to the chief today, once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella is conducting T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But in the mansion... Uh, but the entire mansion went up with that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people within the town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We, uh, we've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 22nd. 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begin, uh, begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We've talked it over, and I've decided to fly out to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip, because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Yeah, well, she's kind of in danger now because she's looking for you, my good dude. We will take the Unicorn Medal as well. <clears throat> the desk is disorganized and untidy. Probably reflects the owner's personality. Eh, Chris doesn't really come across like that. And look, there's a Made in Heaven jacket there. I guess that's one of, her, uh, one of Claire's, maybe? I don't know. It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. I believe that's supposed to be um, Jill's desk, although I'm not sure. And this one here with the medical stuff. you got the f aid spray and the sweets and whatnot scattered around. I'm assuming this may be Rebecca's desk. There are unopened cardboard boxes. It looks like, yeah, there you go, a rookie's desk. Not sure why we can't search that. There should be a first aid spray in there. Um, not sure why we can't get it, but never mind. Must be where they gathered information. There's the communication equipment that was destroyed. However, if we look inside here, we get this bad boy. The grenade launcher. This will be Claire's best friend. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is in this room. So let's get out of here. If we can find the door. But wait, there's more. Just noticed the dartboard as well. Next to that door, which is quite cool. Hmm. So what have we got here? Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. So somebody has just sent a fax. Remember faxes? Remember when they were a thing? Uh, Miss... Oh, to Chris. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovering the following information. One, regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. 
Two. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, the chief of Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Incorporated over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate accounts during his years as a university student. Hmm... He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to uh, circumstantial evidence, as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Sanction Chief, uh, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Yeah, so the thing with Chief Irons, now it goes into... Uh, it in a lot more detail in the novel City on Fire I think it was called uh, let me just check up here I'm pretty sure we can't open this door yet but yeah he uh, is quite yeah spade key quite a dark character um, in the novel when uh, Claire actually first meets him uh, he actually tro no when she goes down to the dungeon I believe because he's got a, a secret dungeon that we'll, we'll soon see later on. Not quite the pleasure room uh, that Mr. Gray likes to uh, keep locked away. Uh, more of something from Saw, but he actually uh, tries to rape Claire uh, in the novels, which is kind of really fucked up when you think about it. You know, this is a game after all but there we go he's quite the rough com customer now uh, actually we suppose we could develop our film whilst we're here now um <clears throat> also uh, a lot of people don't realize just how big in the resident evil universe umbrella is umbrella isn't just a pharmaceutical company oh no 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 umbrella is massive uh, they own cities, they, they fund research, they own governments. Um, Umbrella is huge. It is a... Uh, ah, recruit. There's the Rebecca Chambers. Film D has been filed. Right, let's get out of here. Now we can use our unicorn medal uh, back in the main piece. Ah, we've got to get past the liquor. In the main police um, room. Now, this door is also locked. What key? We need the diamond key for that one. Alrighty. I gotcha. I gotcha. I can't remember what key we get first, actually. It might be the spade key. Really not looking forward to dancing with this liquor. Now, we're staying the fuck away from these. This is the moment. I was so proud of myself. When I was a kid, for making it this far through the game. And then uh, I saw these and I literally jumped up and switched off my PlayStation. Right, Mr. Liquor is through here. We're going to waste his ass with a cult. Oh, we got the grenade launcher, actually. Yeah. We can hear it. Now, liquors are blind. But. They're not deaf. Let's grab that. We should have dropped that gem back as well, actually, but never mind. Oh, hey, pal. Uh, that was less than fantastic. You know what? Let's not split hairs here. Swallow that, you prick. You want some more? Of course you do. Plenty to go round, my friend. Right, okay. I'm not even mad about that. Two grenade rounds. That's, yeah, that's fine. We'll find loads of grenade ammo anyway. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Actually, we're going past an item box in a minute anyway. One in this room, so we'll jiggle our junk around in there. Alright, Mr. Liquor, your ass is mine, boy. And you smelling good. Right, so we don't need that. I might keep the grenade launcher on me for now. I don't think we're going to need a green herb. There are so many herbs 
in the police station. Like, seriously, there's a metric fuck ton of herbs. Now, like I say, you're going to have to forgive me because I can't remember exactly the, the A-grade route around this place, but we we'll get there. And my cat is currently licking me. So, our first precinct key. Will you take the precinct key? That's the spade key as well. Now, if we examine this bad boy. Shape of a spade. Well, we know where we can use that sucker. We can go back to the liquor hallway. So, let's start cracking open some more doors. Now... One of the coolest um, collector's editions that I ever actually saw was of Resident Evil 1. And uh, I believe it was Japan only. And every now and again they do crop up on uh, eBay. But the last one I saw went for well over a thousand. A thousand pounds. British pounds. And it was the game, obviously. And it came with a nice little box. And in that box was the four keys from the original game. And they look really, really good. But, uh, like I say, that edition was only available in Japan, which is sad. That's like the Holy Grail. If I could get my hands on that. Ooh, patrol reports. Patrol report, September 20th, 9.30pm. Reporter, Sergeant Neil Carlson. We have, uh, we received a report of suspicious individuals skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items, a small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, and 9x19 parabellum rounds, and an infrared scope broken. Hmm... Okay, that's curious. Now, what else do we have in here? I thought there was some ink ribbons here. We don't really need the ink ribbons. I wouldn't mind some bullets, though. Me likey the bullets. I think, actually, there's also... If I'm remembering correctly, which I'm pretty sure I'm probably not. Hmm, I thought there was something else in here as well. No, maybe not. Well, we can get the crank. Come on, Claire. Shift your ass up there, girl. I can't wait to come back through some more of these rooms in the new remake just to see what they've done. It's going to be something rather beautiful. Lovely. Alright, let's get down. Ah, my cat is sneezing. You might be able to hear her. What's up, Cloud? <laughs> she seems to have made herself jump. Oh. Yeah. Silly kitty cat. Right. So now we've got the crank. I know where we can use it, but we can't use it yet. And now you're sitting on me, Cloud. Thank you. Just what I wanted. Now, I don't think the arms come through again. That's kind of like a one-shot dealio, if I remember correctly. All right, all right. Certainly seems to be the case. Lovely, lovely. Cloud, look, I don't mind you on me. Like, but settle, please. Bloody wiggler. Now, we need the diamond key to get through there, but we can go back up and use the spade key up here. I think that's the only other door that we can use it in. So let's go have a little look at that. Now, Claire was my favourite um, Resident Evil character for the longest time. Claire and Leon. I remember when this game first came out and uh, me and my friend played the absolute shit out of the demo. The demo for this game was so good. Um, I literally... Uh, ooh. Hello. Forgot about this. Where did that Z come from? Aye, right, Sherry, we're on it, we're on it. Come here, you fucker. Over here, pal. There we go. How many shots? 
Are you done? You're not done yet, pal. Damn, you're a greedy motherfucker. You down now? Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, so me and my friend played the absolute crap out of it. I remember when uh, I finally got the demo. I just tore over his house at a ridiculous time at night. It was probably like nine. Actually, it probably wasn't even that late, to be honest. Um, but, you know, everything seems later and more extreme when you're a kid. Hey. Leon. Leon. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just moved. Her. <laughs> Who is she? Leon gives no fucks. I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course, but before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Alright, good work. Yeah, I remember the excitement for this game. And uh, I remember when the game originally dropped and I asked my dad uh, to go rent it. Because I always used to get a game rented every week. And he came out and he came back with the original Resident Evil. And I was like, oh... And I remember I put it on and I was so disappointed. So incredibly disappointed. But I played through it and I actually really enjoyed it. Ooh, flame rounds. Alright, we'll have those bad boys. Flame rounds are extremely cool. They are our favourite. Really good against zombies, I believe. Right, unlike the way you didn't try and like save the girl or anything, Leon. Don't you worry about that, buddy. We we do all the hard work. It's fine. Okay, so we grab that. Now that box that I've just opened, that drawer, for Leon, that actually contains the upgrade for his handgun, if I remember correctly. But those drawers are a lot harder to open with Leon because he has to find keys. Ooh, and now we're in the library. Mm. One of my favourite rooms. I love this library. It's so good. It looks really nice in the remake as well. They've done such a freaking amazing job with it. We will take the red herb. I. Now what else have we got stashed around here? I actually think that's all that's hit. <clears throat> to be honest, I don't think there's really a lot in here. There is a puzzle to do, of course, because Resident Evil, you know, there has to be a puzzle here. Be a bit weird if there wasn't. So let's have a little scooch around. And listen to that music. Oh man, I don't care what anyone says. Like, this game, the ambience is so much better than the remake. There you are, you little fucker. Have some of this. Come to mama. There we go. Shit. Bastard got that slash in there. Probably let him get a little bit too close, to be honest. But fuck him. He's fucked. Sit there and burn, you bastard. Alright, let's go in here. Have a little poke around. Are we really? On like bloody level uh, 24 minutes already? Like where does the time go? I'm not even joking. Alright, let's stick that in there and give that a bit of a wind round. Nice. I was actually used the crank up. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That gives us more space. Now what do we have here? seems to be broken. It won't work. Well, that's no good. Why is all this stuff broken? I mean, honestly. Like, who actually keeps an eye on all this gear? Obviously nobody, but uh, still. Yeah, we need a cog to go in there, don't we? Looks like a switch. Will we push it? We will. But to no avail. Yeah, we need to perform another puzzle before we can open that up yet. In fact, to be fair, we've probably been a 
bit premature in uh, coming up here, but never mind, never mind. Anywho, let's get out of here. At least we wasted that liquor anyway. Bastard. Kill them all. Right, let's go back into the library. Cloud, your teeth are digging into my arm. Feels like I'm getting another another tattoo. Alright, let's go down here. Woohoo! Enjoy your trip, Claire. That made me jump like fuck the first time I went through that, I'll tell you that. I used to be terrified of games when I was a kid. A bronze plate with a picture on it. Hmm. A bronze plate with a picture on it, you say? How interesting. Alright. So. Remember this puzzle? Simple. I want to go right. And right again. Yeah, man. There we go. It really does feel quite special, actually, to be running this uh, on the original hardware. Uh, with a PlayStation control pad. I feel like I've gone back like fucking damn near 20 years. Holy shit. When did this game come out? Oh, my box is over there. Was it 1998? It might have been 1999. I can't remember. But that, what, guys, this game is like 20 years old. How? Fuck's sake. Where's the time go? Okay, so... Ooh, zombies. Sit down, my friend. Sit down. You're not dead, though, are you? Bleed out. Oh, right in the back of the head. Reload. Only problem with this weapon. You're still not done? Fuck you, buddy. Sit and bleed. Finish this guy off as well. What you got left? You still alive too, buddy? That's fine. Uh oh, run! You don't want to get too close to these guys because they do have like a lunge attack that is rather long range. You're not dead either. You son of a bitch! You always tell whether an enemy's dead because it'll have a pool of blood underneath it. But now we have access to this bad boy. Alright, we certainly will push. The button. I kind of don't want to keep saving it, to be honest, because we're going to blow our rank. But at the same time, I want to save after every video. Because, like I said, I don't really trust this PlayStation. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Might leave it go yet. Ah, oh, shit. That was bad. Right, you're dead. Oh, you son of a fucking bitch. Come on, sit down. Yeah, that was really bad on my part. Nobody to blame but myself, unfortunately. What's our time like? We're on 29 minutes. Uh, it's actually a save room in here, so it's kind of convenient in a way. Ugh. Right, let's grab Zelita. We definitely don't need this anymore. Well, at least we don't need this yet. We can actually mix those two and make like a massive super herb. Uh, put that back. Let's reload this bad boy. Uh, yeah, we'll make a decent healing item. We'll hold on to that. Let's go read this. There's still a few little bits and pieces I want to do yet. Secretary's di Secretary's Diary A. April 6th. I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leant against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me. 
never to touch the statue again. If it's that, if it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th, I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th, wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Yeah, well we're going to burn that in a minute. Right, anyway, let's get out here and have a little poke about. Kind of don't want to end the episode yet. I'm having too much fun. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Should be two guys out here if I remember correctly. Yeah, sit down, bitch. I'm sure there was two. I thought there was two. Come on, you. I wish the burning zombies would eventually like burn to death. I think that would have been a cool little feature. Little Easter egg. If you just stayed around here for long enough, they'd eventually drop. He's down. But is he out? Of course not. They make him tough in Raccoon City. He's down now. You finished, my man? I think so. I don't have the auto aim on because... Um, of the diff I don't know if that's because of the difficulty or the version of the game. This isn't the DualShock version, unfortunately. Ooh, very infamous hallway, this one. Now, I don't think... Oh, we can go through this door. Where does this lead? Ah. Yeah, nice, actually. There's more herbs down below us, I believe. We can actually eat that herb now. Mmm, much better. Cool. Right, let's go back inside, because we're not done yet. Oh, no, no, no. That is if we can open this door, which I'm not 100% sure if we can. We've got... Yeah, he's been pecked to death. We've got bloody crows in here, and I hate the crows. Been pecked to death. Yep, fucking cheese it. Just go, Claire! Run! Don't look back! Although, we don't have to worry too much about the crows because there's something much, much worse that we bump into uh, in that corridor in the next scenario. Oh, yes. So let's go down. Now we have some friendos down here. Um, game, thank you. Don't really want to shoot all these zombies if we can help it. Because ammo, you know. Ammo is quite an important resource and we're kind of expending it wildly. There we go. Fuck off. Now, buddy, you are really obscuring my view. I'm just saying. There we are. Beautiful. Now, I think, actually, this is the way Leon comes in uh, on his scenario. Might be a 40-minute long episode, but I won't tell anyone if you don't. Now, what have we got here? We've got that, which we need. We've got This is where we find the bow gun. If we didn't originally pick it up off Matey Boy's body, which, of course, we didn't. Um... And we, we're not going to take the ink ribbons. We don't need that many. I'm sure, actually, wasn't there like handgun ammo here somewhere? Zombies are inside. Yeah, there certainly are. We're not going to worry about the zombies, Claire. We've got bigger fish to fry, trust me. Nothing special. Really? Is there no handgun ammo here? Well, I'm quite surprised about that. But if we actually try to leave through this door, we get quite a cool little cutscene. 
Oh my, that fucking terrified me when I was a kid. That absolutely terrified the shit out of me. Because you don't expect that. You never see zombies coming through doors like that in this game. Right. Gonna duck behind you, boss. Ooh. Right. Can we, like, aggro these guys this way? Not quite. Uh, maybe. There we go. Like a fucking professional. See that cloud? I can uh, prefend. Yes, I can prefend to be a professional. Yes, that makes sense. Alright, let's go use the crank. Put out the fire. Kind of not doing this in the most optimal way possible, but eh, fuck it. It don't matter. Build up that pressure, and done. Nice. Alright, put that damn burning wreck out. But how did that helicopter get there in the first place? Well, maybe, just maybe, we'll find out in the next scenario. Anyway, if I remember correctly, actually, we can search the smouldering wreck and find some bullets, which... Is pretty fucking nice because we need the bullets. We need all them bullets. Now we haven't done this in a very efficient way, which I've already said, but it's kind of really true because uh, actually, let's go back through there. Is this the one I wanted to go through? No. No, we don't need to go through there just yet. We need to go back this away. <clears throat> so we can now grab another key. But I don't think we want to grab that key just yet. Or do we? I guess we can. We can grab it whilst we're here, I suppose. Ooh. That sounded gribbly. Yeah, probably just a zombie. You know how it is. Zombies. What are they like? Always eating people's faces and whatnot. Um, if I remember, this pot has something in it. Ugh, no, we don't want those. Stop giving me ink ribbons, game. Definitely remember something unpleasant in here. But we found another key, which is pretty good, to be honest. Could have sworn there was bullets in here. Oh, that's a bit of a kick in the knickers. Oh, well, we have two keys anyway. And uh, two keys is better than no keys. So we now have a lot of doors that we can open. But I am going to uh, finish this video now anyway because otherwise we're going to be on like seven hours yeah we're on like almost 40 minutes that's the only trouble when you play something like this you can't just like play it for 10 minutes and then that's that you got to keep playing it because it's so good um we'll keep the grenade launcher on us for now drop the bow gun don't need that for a good while. We don't really need that. We're going to use that very soon. I oh, know we completely used the spade key, didn't we? So if we roll with that loadout for now. Yes. Yes, that should do us nicely. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. No, I, I, I know I have. When we come back, well, we're going to go exploring with our newfangled key and uh, maybe burn a painting because that sounds like fun. Till then, guys. Till then.